Hello and welcome back to the Randox Accusera 24-7 training series. In this video we're going to be covering the addition of new QC tests in the Randox and the Accusera 24-7 platform. To do this you come to the home page, scroll to the very bottom and you'll find the new QC test button. So if you just click there, we'll be greeted by the QC test configuration page. We'll begin this by choosing our instrument, which should be already configured. We'll choose the Amoto 1. And then we choose our assay. And our assay and all the other drop downs following your choice of instrument will be specific to that instrument. Therefore, the assay selected is specific to the Amoto 1. There is not going to be any assays in this selection, in this grouping, that the Amoto 1 does not analyze. So we'll choose our assay and then we'll choose our lots and we'll go and then we'll choose our second lot and then we can save. And that is the beginning of the QC test edition completed. If you want to continue on configuring the rest of your QC test, we have all our drop downs here to the right. We begin next with our stats comparison where we can compare our QC test against um, different comparison methods. So we can have all the methods just by method itself. Therefore, uh, Bromo Cressel Green would be our method. Our reagent supplier, which in this case is Randox Laboratories. Our instrument group, which is um, Randox. Our method and instrument model, which again would be Bromo Cressel Green and Amora. Um, and reagent supplier and model and reagent supplier again. But we're just going to leave it at all methods for today. And then we have our performance limits where we can choose our performance limits that are set against our lot number. So in this table, we find our lot numbers, our type of performance limit, the unit, the concentration in a plus or minus range, percentage plus or minus range, and standard deviation plus or minus range when they are effective from and whether or not those performance limits are active. So for each one, we're going to choose our type just by clicking on it, click the drop down, and we have four available types. We have our biological variation, our clay, our ricus, and our user defined. So if we choose our user defined, we can then click in and choose our concentration, percentage, and SD plus or minus range for our performance limits. Or if you choose one of the preloaded um, performance limits, it will already fill this in for you. So in this case, we're going to choose our Regus, which sets our percentage range. And on this one, we will choose our biological variation, which also sets our percentage range. And if we click Save, that sets our performance limits. Now we'll do our targets. So we have Two different ways of doing our targets. In the case of a new QC test, it will automatically set it to cumulative. In this case, no mean will be set, no target mean or SD will be set until 20 results have been entered and then a target will be set. However, you can click on the type beside the lot that you wish to change on the test and click fixed and then we can change them manually if you're willing to use a fixed target mean. So you've got the cumulative. You can also select when it's effective from, so when this mean will start to kick in. Save. And we have our interprecision values, which are useful for uncertainty of measurements. You can set these values if you wish. And we have our multi rules. And these can be configured whichever way you prefer with our 1-2-S, 1-3-S, 1-4-S, 2-2-S, 3-1-S rules, and so on. We can change it to alert us or reject it, whichever way we prefer. You can also add a new multi-rule, and we will cover this in a separate part. If we click Save, and we click Return to Home, we will then find our new test on the QC test page. And that concludes the adding new QC test part of the Vandox Accusera 24-7 training series.